Hello everybody, my name is Bodens and welcome to the second episode of Trading 2 Team of the Season, Zlatan Ibrahimovic. There he is on your screen as he did come out yesterday in the League 1 Team of the Season, 94 rated and an absolute beast. You can read those stats while I talk about a few stuff. I just want to say thank you so much for this first episode support and just the overall just um, comments and everything. You guys really, really made me happy on that day when I released that, so thank you so much for that. If you missed the first episode or any other videos I've done, subscribe to the channel and check out all the videos on my channel. You can go do that. Um, after this video if you want and anyway if you're looking to buy or sell any coins check out UT coin shop they link down below a really fast reliable and a trustworthy source for coins and of course guys if you want another daily episode tomorrow or the first daily episode tomorrow then leave a like on this if we get over 600 likes I will release the next episode tomorrow for you all on Friday so hopefully you guys can do that and that would really really be awesome anyway so we're going to get started with the trading in this episode and if you remember we had three buys in the last episode and they have sold or at least two of them have Edda sold for 6,000 and 900 coins, making about 1.5k on him, and Marilunga, one of them, sold for 4.7k, so that's about 2k profit on him, and we're still, wait we're still waiting for the other one to sell. Anyway, we're going to go and buy some League 1 players, as I did this a little bit before the League 1 team of the season properly came out, so I just went onto the market and bought a few randies, um, just because basically... Um, um, League One, the, the League One demand for players is just going to rise, and also I bought the players that were actually in the team of the season. So, for instance, this goalkeeper is actually 74 rated in, in team of the season. So, if anybody can't afford his um, actual in form or team of the season, then they will come to this card and want to buy it. And because he's not in packs during um, the week, then they will um, just buy it. The, um, his price is going to rise a little bit. So, hopefully, we can get like a K off these guys, and you know, each one of them just making like little tiny bits of profit. But it'll absolutely be no problem if we lose a little bit on these guys because we did make a lot of profit on all the cards this episode. So tonight is perfectly fine. I'm just trying out kind. I'm just trying out kind of a new trading method because I've never really done this kind of before. You know, searching for um, like trading compared with the team of the week that's current, and you know, kind of filtering out different kind of things and basically being just trading a little bit different for me. Uh, so there you go. And a Bumayang here, not really the best one. I don't think we're going to make too much profit out of him if we do make any. 2k for this centre forward converted one and send just to, to just to the trade pile. We're just storing them up basically, and we'll sell them on in a bit. Um, Diallo here, we're going to buy for 2,000 coins. This is a League One player, so. I thought, hey, um, League One, he's a really, really good silver, so he may really sell fast. So, one for 2k, going to try and sell him for 2.9k. It's only like a 750 coin profit, but no problem at all. Not too bad there. And um, Valbuena did sell for 1.9k. He made about 1.2k on him. And the Alice did sell for 2.9k. Really, really fast there. And also going to buy, um, uh, this is a Liga BBVA camp. Um, El Arabi, 1,300 coins, a nice buy as he is normally a centre forward. So this guy we're going to try and sell for around 3.4k I think. We may actually go a little bit higher with him. Or 3,600 coins we're going to try and sell him on for. So that's around 2,000 coins of profit on him which is nice especially um, during this team of the season when trading is a little bit harder. Um, 3,000 coins for this other league, a BBVA player. This is the left forward um, Chilean. Um, Orellana, I think his name is, but 3,000 coins we spent on him, on him. I think he's normally like a left mid, and we just converted him to a left forward or bought the converted one, and hopefully we can sell him for 5.7k. And we're going to go and buy this striker here for 1,500 coins. I cannot say his name because it is really hard, but he's actually worth around 6,000 coins at the moment for some random reason. So I'm going to undercut them um, by quite a bit as we bought this really, really nice buy for 1.5k. We're going to go for about 4.7k with this guy because his formation isn't the best. But yeah, we traded this guy a few times this episode, so you'll see that in a little bit. Dos Santos here for 550 coins. A nice buy. The only reason he really sells is because he's with FC Barcelona and his stats aren't too bad. We're also going to buy this 4-3-3 um, striker that we just bought a little bit ago for 2,600 coins. And because he's in 4-3-3, we're going to be able to get like an extra K out of him. So that's a nice buy for him as well. Dos Santos, finally, we we, um, we are able to get him out of the watch list as he was stuck there a little bit. And we're going to put him up for 1.8K. And that's... Um, uh, the Spanish striker um, in the 4-3-3 formation. We're going to try and sell him for around 6,700 coins, I believe. So, yeah, hopefully we can get some nice profit out of these guys. And when I woke up this morning, two players did sell. It was El Arabi and the Iago Aspas, that um, Spanish striker. Anyway, guys, thank you all for watching. That is the end of the episode. And if you have enjoyed, guys, please do leave a like. As I said, over 600. And I will release another episode tomorrow for you all. Um, hopefully you enjoyed this episode. Thank you so much for the support. If you're new on here, subscribe for more. Go on my channel if you want to see previous videos. And as always, hope you have... A great day.